Hello everyone, today we are at the, doing a walk by the River Trent. Uh, we're starting off in Fiskerton. Well, we're, I think it's just going to be in Fiskerton. But uh, yeah, it's quite windy today. So, uh, hope, you hope you enjoy. And uh, the wind's blowing all over. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you soon. I'm just going to show you. It's just, it's, just, it's, just, it's just walk. It's walk. Yeah, that's the intro. Just, just walk. And, yeah, there you go. River Trent, Fiskerton, I'm going to walk and I'll catch you later. Guys, I figured I'd talk while the wind's not up, the wind's back. All you can hear is. Pow!
you probably don't be able to hear a thing I say. We just walked past a nice little hub with like outdoor seats. Rambling. Looked very nice, looked very posh. We'll just stop by if I was hungry or thirsty, but I've got me my flask full of tea, bright pink as it should be. Um, but yeah, it looked like a nice little pub, but I didn't need it. I got my tea, nothing better than my own brewed tea. But uh, it's a lot less windy at the minute, so I figured I could get away with it by talking before it gets windy again. Because uh, basically, we're walking by a river. Nice views, but it's a river. There's so much river you can see before you think, Lewis, why do you keep showing me a boring river? And I bet you put some of that really rubbish music over the top of it, no, haven't you, Lewis? And now you can see sometimes I need to, because it's just wind. But, well, as you wouldn't hear anything other than wind. And you probably can't hear anything other than wind at the minute. Which is why I'm raising my voice a bit to try and beat the wind. I'm hoping it works. The wind is a very difficult thing to get rid of in editing. So I can't. I try, but sometimes it's just impossible. But uh, yeah, so if we go talk a bit, tell you a story. I've only got one, one story really. The first time I ever took our dog Kibble to the River Trent. We used to live quite close, we used to live walking distance away from the River Trent. And uh, it was when we first got Kibble. After having him in the house for a bit, taking on short walks, we decided to take Kibble and Alice to a walk by the River Trent. Not this part of the River Trent, but a part of the River Trent. And one of the first things Kibble did when we took him off his lead, he dove straight into the river and started swimming. He'd never swum before, he'd never been in the water before. But uh, he ran straight to the river, jumped in, and just started swimming about. And loved it. And uh, yeah, there's a little story time with Lewis about Kibble's first time on a walk and his first time swimming. And ironically, it was in the River Trent. But uh, Alice was terrified of it, she wouldn't go in. Kibble was there jumping in and out of it, swimming about. Alice wouldn't, Alice wouldn't go near it. And uh, I just found it. Perfect opportunity to tell you a story or whilst we're walking down the river. Um, I'm just gonna keep walking. Can't remember the stopping point, so I'm just gonna walk until I get tired, which I could walk for days on end. Sorry about the wind, it's blowing my hair everywhere. One of the downsides to my long hair, the wind just takes it everywhere. So, uh, right, enough of me babbling on about unimportant stuff. I'm gonna uh, Show you some more of the river now because at this part it's less of the like industrial side, so there's no walls up at the river, so it's just a slope down. So, uh, I'm gonna show you some more views. We're now on like a, a footpath, not a road, so it's just mud and it's getting windier. So, I hope you can hear what I'm saying. I'm raising my voice if it's too loud, I can edit it in post, but the wind is blowing, my hair is going everywhere, and I'm gonna show you some views. I'm gonna shut up now and figure out how this fence works. Um, how does this, oh right, it's a dog, it's got weird pencil this guys. So you open this side, and then you open the other side afterwards. Oh, wait, my face again. So you open that side lot, and then you open this side. Double, double fence. I'm assuming that's to stop animals. Uh, like, why would you need to stop animals? I don't know why that fence is like that. It doesn't really stop most cyclists, or cyclists, because it's quite easy to open both of them. But. It was there. Oh, some fishermen up ahead, guys. They got the tents out and everything. There's a nice field. Some crops. But uh, I think I'm going to start talking more on these walks instead of just having the boring music. Like when I, like a nice story, like when I told the story about Kibble. And uh, it's just I picked a really bad time to do this because of the wind. I could have picked any walk to start talking more. But I chose to walk with all the wind. But uh, I figured why not? If it's too windy, I cut all this out and we'll just have plinky plonky music. But I know a lot of you don't like the plinky plonky music, so I'm trying to improvise. But again, sometimes when it's windy, it's inevitable that I use the plinky plonky music. But anyway, let me show you some views and I'll talk to you soon. Because, like I say, I'm going to start talking more. Hope you enjoy.
Seriously, it's, it's all it's all calm until I turn the camera around and try to talk to you. It goes all windy. It's weird. We've got a boat following us. It's passing all the fishermen. There's like loads of fishermen out today, in the guys. There's some more even coming up there. Well, I'm trying not to talk too loud to disturb anyone because you know they're just out here trying to enjoy their time fishing. They don't want me trumpeting by shouting all sorts of a camera in my hand but as is the way of well, filming what you do during the day fishermen like it quiet peaceful the boat's coming it's, it's getting closer I would move the camera back so you can see more behind me but that's when the wind catches it and you can't hear my voice because I've got quite a sore throat at the minute so I can't really project my voice as much as I want to so when I start talking loudly I just start croaking and uh, yeah nobody wants to hear that well, like I said I've got my cup of tea in my bag so if it gets too bad I'm going to just have a bit of tea it calms the nerves, soothes the throat tea helps everything oh the boat's trying to pass me guys both things I'm too slow. Let's try to... ah, there it is again, the wind. If you can hear me, that's great. If not, I'm sorry. Again, I'll probably just edit over this in the, the video and go, this is me thinking that you could all hear me, even though the wind is blasting at 5,000 miles per hour. The poor mics on the camera he's using cannot pick up anything he is saying. And now it just sounds like he's lip syncing nothing that's what I'll say in the editing guys just to add insult to injury I'll put it at a different part of the video so it just look like I'm talking absolute gibberish no the boat's passing me guys I think the boat's won this race guys I can't run all the way down to the river I can walk for miles guys, I love walking, but when it comes to jogging or running, I'm giving up after two seconds, can't do that, but I can walk for miles, take it nice and steady, cups of teas, nice sarnie, but uh, I think of what to talk about guys, it's a bit different when you're doing it live to doing it recording. Because if I was live, I could have been like, so guys, how's your day been? What you been up to? Can't really do that now. Actually, no, I can. When you get to this point, comment to me how your day's been. How you feeling? 
and I'll, I'll have a look. I'll have a look down in comments because I do read the comments. So when you get to this point, have a pause, take a pause, have a cup of tea or a coffee, whichever you fancy, and uh, let me know how your day has gone. Let me know how your day is going. Or if it's a night, you know, just relax, chill. But just let me know. Yeah, yeah, we can still do that. I can still ask you questions. Yeah, it doesn't have to be reserved for being live. I can, I can ask you anything. Not that you might not answer. I might completely ignore this part. You might go, why is that long-haired idiot still talking? I don't want to see what the river looks like. But I like to communicate. If you can even hear me. That's why the camera's a bit close, guys. Gotta get a bit close to the mic so you can still hear me over this wind. Because the camera's got four mics around it. So I like, pick up the wind more than my voice. Because they're quite sensitive mics. But, uh, yeah. So tell me how your day's gone. How it's going. How your day's been. Or what you plan to do today. Don't know, it could be the morning when you're watching this. Don't know when I'm going to upload it. But yeah, so let me know, and uh, I'll have a look. My day's going pretty well, guys. Woke up, had a cup of tea, got ready, got out, and started walking. You know, a little secret, guys. I woke up a little late today. I stayed up late last night, but uh, I'm fine. <laughs> Walk always wakes you up. Especially a nice steady walk like this. It's not over rocks or stepping stones or mountains. It's a nice steady walk down by the River Trent. Talking to what looks like myself. Because everybody that's walked by me whilst I've been talking thinks, what the hell is he doing? Why is he talking to himself? Because this camera doesn't really look like a camera if you don't look at it closely. It looks like I'm just holding a stick. Um, so if people didn't know this was a camera, it would be very weird for them to see me talking to a stick. Because it's a very small camera. But it's the only camera I have with stabilisation. And when I walk, I bob, I shake, I go here, there and everywhere. So without you feeling motion sickness watching my video, I need stabilisation. And that is why I use this camera. That and it's compact so I can take it wherever I need to and it's uh, not getting in the way. It'll be too bulky or heavy. So when you're on a long walk, the last thing you want, something heavy, dragging you down, take, making you take an extra hour on a walk that usually takes only half an hour, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, so I'm having a good day. Didn't have any breakfast, probably should have done, but uh, I can't really eat when I wake up. Yeah, I'm just telling you all sorts now. I'm just, like I said, I'm trying to communicate more. Just start rambling. But enough of my rambling. There's a lot of trees here, but I can still show so, some views of the, the river and the field. They're empty now, they've all been harvested, but we've still got fields here. Still looks nice. That's all I like about this area. You have to, don't get me wrong, Peak District, Lake District, all beautiful places to have walks have lovely villages, beautiful views. But sometimes your local places, you gotta give them some love, you know? Oh, you have to travel out, come to your local walk. Heck, I have a local footpath in my village. It's just, it's just a footpath around some foresty bit. Still a lovely walk to have. If you, if, you, if you don't feel like driving out, you can just walk there, have a nice quick walk. Go home, relax, have a tea. Just something to get you up. So no, just, just give your local areas some love. Make sure they're getting the, the recognition they deserve. Like, when you hear River Trent, you're thinking, ugh, that disgusting brown river is full of canal boats and rubbish. I don't know if you actually think that. I don't think anybody thinks that. But it's the only, like, you know what I mean. But no, no, you find nice little spots, you take a walk like I have done today. It's a nice little spot. But to be fair, me won't fight on this walk. Still though, it's a nice spot, nice area. It's lovely, it's calming. It's not busy at all. There's been a few fishermen, there's been a few people walking by. But they've been nice, they've smiled, they've nodded, they've said hello. 
Um, they're nice, yeah. You tend to find a lot of nice people when you go walking. A lot of friendly faces. Oh, the road, the, the path's getting a bit slippery now with the mud. But, uh, you can, still, you can see the river behind me now. I'm giving you a view and a chat. See, that's, almost think I'm like really good at this. And not just making it up as I go along. That boat's just turned around, he's coming back. I nearly won. If I'd just walked a bit faster, I probably could have won that one, guys. That is disappointing. Could have won that. He literally turned around a few meters up ahead. Could have won that, guys. Could have won that. I'm disappointed in myself. I thought he was going to keep going to the end of the river, but he didn't. He turned around. Fair enough. Good on him. He won the race. It wasn't really a race, but it nearly was, let's be honest. But yeah, see, so, so, I mean, there's a lot of trees blocking the river at the minute and an empty field next to me. That's why I'm talking during these periods and showing you like the, the snippets in between and moving the hair out my face. I mean, it's bobble or something. Cap. I usually have a cap, but I haven't brought it with me today. So that would have stopped this hair blowing all in my face. But oh well. I don't plan things ahead. I don't know if you've noticed. But I never usually plan things ahead. Apart from the cup of tea. The cup of tea is important. Everybody needs a cup of tea when they're going to walk. Or a coffee, if that's what you like. But tea is the better option. Calms the muscles, relaxes you. So you can carry on for another 20 miles. Coffee will give you that energy boost. Well, then that's worn off, you're knackered. Tea keeps you steady all the way. Oh, I've got some people coming, guys. So I'm going to be a bit more quiet. So it's, uh, it's not rude. And it doesn't look like I'm talking to myself again. They probably think I'm talking to myself because they could probably see me right now. Just gonna, just gonna be quiet. So yeah, they looked at me like I was a nutter. I'm, I promised I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to you guys. We're having fun. I don't know, having a nice chat about random crap that I've come out with. It's getting a bit windy now. It's, we're back, we're nearing the open area again. Oh, that's why he turned around. There's a, um, a wake, I'm pretty sure it's called. Ah, I don't know why he turned around, guys. No, no, sorry, I now know why he turned around, guys. It's a wake, and there's a bridge. Doesn't look like we're allowed to cross the bridge. Sad times all around. Well, the water's coming pretty fast here because of that way. And the wind's picked up because there's no trees left to protect me from the wind. Yeah, we're not allowed to cross the bridge, guys. That's a sad times. Only boat owners are allowed to cross the bridge. Really sad. And there's another one of those clappy gates. Oh, I read a sign. I know what those clappy gates are for now. Cows and stuff. So it is for animals. Well, they're agriculture, they're, 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 they're like crop fields, so I don't know where the cows come in, come into all this. Oh, that's a beautiful wake. Right, it's getting quite windy. I'm going to shut up now, turn the camera back around and let you see the views again. Catch up with you later. See you soon.
guys, I'm catching up with Jojo. I was having a break for a cup of tea. She passed me, laughed at me. And I said, hey, 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 you're gonna run my shots if you're in front of me. And she goes, nah, it don't matter. You'll catch up, which is true, I'm catching up. Going as fast as I can to get in front of her. Then I've got to go even faster to keep up ahead of her. Because like me, Jojo can walk for absolutely miles. Again, the trees were blocking the view uh, and the wind. So I decided to talk again. And like I say, as soon as I start talking, the wind picks up again. Because uh, it obviously doesn't like me. But uh, I'm gonna keep talking until at least I pass Jojo so we can laugh and smile at her as we go by. But you know, she's picked up a pace because she knows I'm coming. She thinks I'm closer than I am. She moved aside for me, but I'm still at least 10 meters behind her. No, five meters, sorry, not 10. About to pass a bunch of boats. She shouted the exact same thing back to me. It's a dock by the looks of it, big one. I'm hoping I can show you it through the trees, but Apparently, they just planted trees to block everything on this walk. Yeah. We're nearly past Jojo, guys. Get ready to laugh at her as we go by. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm only walking like an extra metre faster than her. Do you know where them two are? Who? No. No idea. I don't know where they are. We lost the rest of the crew, but... I'm a lone wolf. I set off ahead of them anyway, guys. All right, I'm gonna show you these boats, guys. Oh, yeah, there's a nice little view here. I'm gonna shut up and turn the camera around. See you in a bit. doggos guys. They came up and said hello. Adorable little doggos they were. And the big doggo in the back. Who's got? Alright, yeah. Now a care home. It used to be a pub slash rent called the Ferry Inn. Got a care home that was turned into a care home after previously being a pub slash uh, hotel. Called the, what was it called? The Ferry Inn. The Ferry Inn. So we've got the ferry in, or the old ferry in coming in, guys. We've passed some more boats. Why did I decide to do a full 180 instead of doing a 90 degrees that way? To show you the boats. We've got the boat. As you can tell, I'm still a camera genius. If you could hear me, that is, over this blooming wind. I can drive a canal boat. Did you know that, guys? Yeah, that's something you didn't know about, Lewis. I haven't been on one in years though, so probably won't be the same because you turn it left to go right and all that nonsense. It's not a steering wheel on a canal boat, guys. It's a big stick. And to stop people nicking your boat when you're sleeping or away, you can actually take the, 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 the bar off so they can't steer it. So there's a little bit. I can't remember the name for it. I can't remember the name for it either. It was green. I know, I remember the, 
We always took the same canal boat out every single time, guys. And it was a green one. Cannot for the life of me remember the name of it. Went on it about 20 times, and I still can't remember the name. You can put it up on letters on the forum. But yeah, so, I have something you didn't know about Lewis. A master at working locks, and I can drive the boat. Never driven an actual boat with a steering wheel, though. We did loads of boats, didn't we? Only canals. Only canal boats. And you still, you, you used to be able to walk on the roof of canal boats and everything, guys. Oh, we've got another gate. Well, right. Gates, aren't they? It's to stop cars well, and stuff getting through. It. We used to call Hazel's Ferry, sorry. So, Hazel's Ferry, that's what this yeah, pub used to be called. It there. there it is behind me. Let's go to a history board, guys. It's time for the, the, the session of learning with Lewis about something he has no idea what it is. So, here we go. We're at the board. You ready to learn with Lewis? This is a uh, Hazelford Ferry crossing point. There's the sun in the way, I'll face it this way. Uh, the name Hazelford comes from the fact that the river at this point was much shallower, making it uh, affordable so people can actually walk across it. A little picture here, guys, of uh, people walking across. So it used to be so shallow, you just walk across this river. That's how much water's in it nowadays. You can't walk across this river now. Imagine being able to walk across the River Trent. Incredible. Uh, let's see some of the history, shall we? The crossing may have been used far, far, as far back as the prehistoric times. Finds from the area include a, a sword and a spear dating from the Bronze Age. Uh, long head, long hedge lane running towards the crossing is believed to be an ancient trackway and a Roman town called Ad Pontem I hope I'm pronouncing that right meaning by or at the bridge stood nearby at East Stoke so it's got quite a bit of history here guys there used to be a ferryman's house and everything not anymore it's gone Come here. There's a bit of history of the place in a session, another session of uh, Learning with Lewis. Hope you enjoyed that little trivia session. And while I start giving you history, Mum got ahead of us. God damn. Gotta catch up with it now. Gotta catch up with it now, guys. She's, she's, she's wandered off. Oh, she's got so far ahead of us, guys. Learning with Lewis has hindered the, the progress we've made ahead of her. History has slowed us down, guys. This is not good. Need to keep going forward. Faster. She's too far ahead, guys. I can't jog, otherwise I'll be, I'll be knackered. It'll take me out. So I've got a fast walk. I've got a power walk to race towards Jojo. So we can get back ahead. Let's see if she took the right track, because one of those roads is private. One of those roads is the public footpath. I wonder if she took the right one. You're soon, you're soon there. A lot of farmers around this area like using their shotguns to scare people off. Let's see. Ah, oh, no, she took the right way. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed learning with Lewis. Didn't think there would be a Learning with Lewis segment on uh, today's walk. But hey, history everywhere, I suppose. Oh, it's very muddy down here, guys. I'm glad I put my walking boots on, because it is squidgy, wet, and slippery. Wouldn't be able to do this in my trainers, that's for sure. Oh, oh, yep, very muddy. Right then, guys, we're coming up to probably a windy area. So I'm gonna turn the camera around again and let you enjoy the beautiful sights. Catch you later. Bye.
Right guys, we've just found a really muddy part and I don't have waterproof walking boots. They're not waterproof, but look what we're walking through. It don't look much, but it's absolutely soggy as hell. Slippy, soggy, and oi! Lewis says he's never fell over I've yet. never slipped over yet, and that's not going to start today. But just look at how wet, soggy, and slippy this place is, guys. It's, uh, it's quite slippery. Now, I haven't slipped over yet. I don't plan to slip over. But I am in the middle of holding a flask and walking with the camera. No, because I haven't had a cup of tea from it yet. <laughs> we can't walk on the edges either because they're a, a, a slant. So if you walk on the edges, you're slipping into the water the wrong way. So you may as well just brave it and walk through the water. Luckily, my boots haven't been pierced yet with water. They seem to be doing well, even though they're not waterproof. <laughs> Which I should have thought about because we have a waterproof spray at home. Could have sprayed that on my boots. I need to clean my boots first actually guys because my boots are very muddy. I need to I need to get a hose on them, scrub them with a brush. Because you don't put walking boots in the washing machine. You'll break your washing machine. So uh, I need to get a hose on them. Get a scrubbing brush or something. Proper scrub them. But yeah, it's very it's very slippery. Very wet. But I'm still powering ahead, powering through. Back to first place in the lead. We're at a different part of the river now. Pretty sure there's a lock coming up. Not sure though. But I'll uh, just thought I'd give you an update on how slippery and wet this place is. And uh, I'll get back to you when we get to a nice, nicer location. See you soon. Bye. Guys, come across some uh, sailboats. 
it's windy, so I'm having to face you, but the hair's going in my face. So, <laughs> I've had some sailboats. Uh, some mini sailboats, they're like having a mini competition or something. I'll show you in a minute, but... Oh, my hair. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're really going crazy. A lot of them on there and all. I'm going to turn around the camera, show you the sailboats. Mum's using this as an excuse to get ahead again. But, uh, here you are, let me show you. Hi guys, just thought I'd take a stop here at the Lancaster Bomber Memo Memorial in memory of the crew of the Lancaster M Mark III. So, nice to see bits of history preserved. They look, they look, they look looked after. So that's nice to see. But I thought I'd stop by and show you guys. It's just some we passed during the walk. But yeah, I'd say we're far over halfway now. What would you say, two thirds? Yeah, uh, looking at the map, yeah. About two thirds. So we're nearly done, guys. We're nearly done. I don't know where them two are then. But I'm going to show you a few, few more sites than that, and I'll probably catch up with you when we're finished. So, I'll see you guys later.
So everyone, that's it for me today. Hope you've enjoyed the walk we've been on today. Sorry about the wind, I hope you could hear it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.